Hey everybody, welcome to What the Rust. I have always wanted to go to a junkyard and try to get a car started. And today is the opportunity to do so. So we've picked out three. And we're going to start with this one and move on to the others as long as there's sunlight available. So this is a 72 Ranchero 500. It's been here a long time. Why did I pick it? Because it's cool. It's very, very cool and unique. It's fairly solid, at least in the nose. And the door looks good. Starts to get rusty in the back. And it's punched in on this side and quite rusty. This tire has air. They don't all have air, but this one does. Let's see what the gas smells like. Yeah, pretty bad. Whew, pretty bad. We won't be using that gas. Out back, it's got a trailer hitch on it. Tailgate's here, and at least Outside, the tailgate's good. Oh, wow. This tailgate's in good shape. Wow, look at that. Wow. This tailgate's in really good shape. I bet if we clean this, this will open and close. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's pushed in here. Interesting that it didn't, <clears throat> it bent the tail light, the pot metal, but didn't break it. Over here, it's got more rust. <coughs> From what I can see of the frame, the frame is good. This tire is flat. Yeah, the frame, the frame looks decent and it's got dual exhaust on it. Let's take a look inside. The door opens nice. And look at that, the hinges aren't worn at all. Uh, what do we got going on in here? There is a another dash panel i don't know if it's out of this tire or not let's see don't no. know doesn't appear to be no this looks like it might be out of a torino and it's in really really nice shape and we've got a spare distributor cap and old distributor with coil Maybe this has been converted to electronic ignition. Because that's all old stuff. Points. It's got the key. Yay. Okay, that's good. It's got the key. It's got an old alternator in the back seat. Okay. It's, uh, it kind of stinks and the seat's shot, as you can imagine. But it's it certainly smelled worse. It's got this funky little wheel <clears throat> and the mileage is 40,000. So looking at the brake pedal is clearly 140. <coughs> that brake pedal is really worn. Yeah, so I think... Oh, the floors. The, well, the floors back here are not... They're, they're, they're kind of gone back yeah, here. This, this has oh, some yeah. issues with the floors. Yeah. Yeah, not totally gone, but it's got some holes. Almost. It has some aftermarket gauges. That's going to help. If it fires up, we'll be able to tell if it's got oil pressure right away. This is a cool <laughs> rig. It is not beyond saving. Stuff like this comes with the job. Not much you can do other than take your shoes off before you get in the truck. So it's got this funky latch here. <coughs> Let's see if that works. Yep, it works. Whoa, I'm not a Ford guy, but this looks like a Cleveland, a 351 Cleveland. I was not expecting that, but that's what it looks like. Now look at this just hanging there. Isn't that funny? Mm. Just hanging there. Interesting. This doesn't look that old. No, it doesn't. So... 
this was inside and this was inside. So someone must have changed these at some point in the past. But yeah, this is no Windsor. This this must be a 351 Cleveland. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That just made this a whole lot more interesting. Um, let's check the dipstick. Oh, it's low, low, low and black. I mean, there's barely anything on there. But I've got oil with me. Um, assuming it's not seized, that'll be the first thing I do is put oil in it. But let's see if it's seized. This does not have a clutch fan. So it might be easy to do. All right, let's see. No, it's not seized. I mean, it's the belt slipping, but it moved. Yeah, it moved. Yahoo! <laughs> it's not seized. So that's awesome. That is really awesome. Let's check the transmission. Oh, that's good. That's red. Red, red, red. And it doesn't smell at all. That's great news. Let's see if the carb is free. No. The carb is stuck, so we're going to have to look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that. But, hey, the bones of what we need are here. This is how the alternator is hooked up. That's interesting, and i got to tape this off. That's not good. That's the full output of the alternator being wide open there. That is not good. <clears throat> and it's got a black ground and a red positive. Yay! It's your lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> So this was only one year only they made this. It's called the fish mouth. Some people call it other things, but I like to call it the fish mouth. It's only one year they made it. I don't see anything in there, but it is. No. Yeah, it's a little bit moist right there. Mm -hmm. So that's a good sign. It's kind of amazing that it's a little bit moist right there, but it is. Now, it has this air conditioner sticker, but I don't see <clears> that yeah. here. It was mounted right there. The compressor was mounted there. This is all AC stuff. This is AC stuff. But <clears throat> Do you think maybe they sold that part? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Or someone just said, I don't need no air conditioning. You know, when I was young, we took the AC out. Of course, I didn't live down in Tennessee, but we took the AC out pretty early on. You see anything that looks eaten? Ah, uh, good question. No, I do not. No, I do not. What there are a lot of cats around here, so. Yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe that's a good thing. That's probably why the inside doesn't stink as badly as it should. All right, let's get rolling. Okay, so I'm not embarrassed to admit that I've never been a super big fan of this doll maybe i could get used to it maybe i could learn to appreciate it but i don't know what it is i just never loved it so i'm sure there are a lot of you that think this is the the coolest thing you've ever seen and you want one and you love it and then i think there'll be people like myself that'll be like eh, maybe not i'm gonna check out one of these plugs the wire came off fairly easy. That's a good sign. Oh, wow. Just based on what I see on the end of this plug, it looks pretty good. It wasn't tight, though. That's a little worrisome. It wasn't tight at all. Look at that plug. That's the nicest looking plug I think I've ever seen you take out of a car. It is. And Bosch, this is in a junkyard. Platinum. Wow. It's one of those funky cone tip ones. It's very fouled. Very fouled, but I can't argue with that. Yeah, there's no rust or anything. No. I'm going to uh, take out a few more and see what they look like, and I'm going to clean these plugs up. Because I don't know if it's going to fire with that fouled.
Magnet's a helper today. He he took this off, but this is not bad in here at all. You guys probably can't see that, but it's not bad at all. If the whole engine's like that, this is a really good engine. So I've got another plug out. It's the second one on the passenger side. Less carboned. Less carboned. This will be easier to clean. So Richard, can you tell me about a Cleveland? I don't I don't think we've ever worked on one before. We have not. Um, the 351 Cleveland was a high performance engine uh, right from the get-go. Whereas a 302 and 351 Windsor were regular passenger car and truck engines. So these are fairly rare. Um, I, I'm no expert on them, but they had really nice flowing heads. And cars like the Pantera came with 351 Clevelands in them. So these are very sought after uh, engines. And there was, there was two variants of the heads, the 2V and the others. This is, this is probably the 2V, but even with that, it's still a very nice engine to have. And looking under that valve cover, man, that engine's going to be in good shape. So I'm over here on the driver's side. The three, um, after, after the number one, the three on the other side were better. They weren't as fouled, and uh, they were all tight. So not sure what was going on with that cylinder, but let's see how this one goes. I don't want to uh, press my luck too much, but so far, this looks good. Um, I am putting a little lubricating oil in the cylinders, not a lot because it's not seized, but just a little bit to make it a little easier to spin and a little easier on the cylinder walls. All right, last one. The second one on this side was oddly dry. Not sure why. Um, no carbon on it whatsoever. Very, very strange why that would be. It went way under there. Yeah, but I see it. Oh man. <laughs> Are the leaves making a nice cushion for you? I am scared to see what you might have on you when you get up. Because do you see my shoes? That's a common issue around here. Comes with the job. Oh my. <laughs> Good job. I was worried. The leaves are like three inches thick under there. All right, plugs are done. Now we're going on to the distributor cap. One thing I noticed, I was gonna check the master cylinder. That's an alternate gas tank right here. So the last time this was run, someone realized that the tank gas was no good. This is uh, not what we're gonna use, but it's good to know it runs down to the fuel pump. So it's good to know. Oh boy. Bone dry? Yeah. I think, yeah. We, I think we knew that. Well, it's not just bone dry. Look at this. Look at that. Uh-huh. That's funny. I mean, usually it's rust in here. This isn't rust. Look at that. This actually might come back. I mean, if we put fluid in it, because it's not rusty at all, and I can smell brake fluid. It's just got this weird stuff in it. Is it crystallized in there? It looks kind of crystallized uh, yeah, from here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to put some brake fluid in this thing. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if this had brakes? Mm hmm. So I'm interested to see underneath there because you noticed that that was new. Oh, oh look at wow. That. Look at look that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I was not expecting that. No, me neither. I mean, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. About the only thing I would say is wrong is there's no grease on the rubbing block for the the, uh, the uh, points. But this rotor, I mean, it's a little scary. It looks like it's never been used. I know, and it's in a junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that has to be a little comical in itself. It is. It is. All right, you got the battery? Yeah. I'm kind of excited to see what happens with this. Yeah. The battery tray in this is like new, surprisingly. 
I don't know if it's original. It looks very thick, but it's in really good shape. But these are not. These are quite bad. So what is that? That's the thing that's attached to, to the alternator. Talking? Someone mm -hmm. was using the alternator charging wire for that. Yeah, this one is very, very bad, and it's broken. Mm. We may end up having to take this all apart and clean it. I think yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I could, I, I could see why if you look, yeah. especially in the back. Yeah, it's quite bad. This actually isn't that bad once I got it apart. It's more of this that's all rusty. The cable itself is good. Yeah, but we know from experience that even... The rest on that can affect everything. Oh, yeah. All good. Okay. So you think that's going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be fine now. Fine. And we're going to need as good a connection as we can because this is no doubt going to draw a lot of current if the starter is even good. It's awful close to the ground. Yeah, I noticed that when I asked you where it was, and I took a look. It is pretty close. We're going to do the touch test. No spark whatsoever. Uh, this is, I'm going to have to fix this. This is way too large. You said too large? Yeah. It needs to be tightened up. Yeah, because it's broke. Try the lights and see if they come on? Okay. okay I'm going to try the lights to see if they will come on or not. Nothing. Try the uh, dimmer switch on the floor. I hear him, I hear something moving in there. Yeah, that's the key. He's, he's moving the key. No, I'm moving this little piece. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. What about the dimmer switch on the floor? Uh, what, what piece? I don't know. It's, it should be right there. Right there, yeah. Yeah, that. Nothing. What about the horn? Nothing? No. Uh, there's, the horn's not hooked up. Horn's not hooked up. There's no horn piece on it. What about the windshield wipers? Well, there's nothing working electrical in here. Really? No. I don't think any of the electrical works in here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. none of the electrical works in it. Hmm. Okay, why don't you uh, turn the key on? All right, I'll do that for you. Uh, I thought I did. Yeah, yeah, we got spark at the points. Okay, turn the key off. Okay, super. We got spark at the points. So we're going to put some oil in because, well, there wasn't much showing, right? Yeah, there was only a little bit showing, so we can't have that. Whoops. Now, why do you think... Can you see anything under there why none of the electrical would work? You know, I, I thought we didn't see anything that looked eaten. Could it just be some simple connection somewhere they've just connected that affects everything? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it might be... It might be... You know, all this wiring here that's just hanging there and all that, it could be that. I'm going to put some power steering fluid in it, too. Richard, I think you did very well on that, and you spilled very little. You probably need a lot more than that. So there was none in there, right? Well, I don't know. These are these are very funny. Power steering reservoirs hold a lot more than the stick shows. Now, could it be because the car's on an incline too for that particular? I think it's thing? just got a leak. Bottom mm -hmm. line, it's just got a leak. I'm going to clean up the solenoid connections next. They look pretty bad. I don't want this to be more difficult to start than it has to be. So 
So it's a good thing I checked this. Look at how loose that is. Oh. Yeah, that it... wouldn't have been good. Oh yeah, this is super loose. Oh, that's so funny. It's super loose. Hand tight, not even hand tight. Hmm. All right, we're gonna clean this all up. It's no doubt very, very rusty in here. That lock washer is actually rusted to the terminal post, to the terminal itself. We gotta clean this all up. You know, I didn't get a good look at how that looked inside. I'm gonna have to do that. Can you see anything in there? Okay, Richard? it's moving now. Can you see anything inside? Did you look? Uh, I didn't look yet. I don't think that spring's me any good. <laughs> I mean, it's got more spiders and cobwebs in it than anything. It doesn't look good. There's a lot of corrosion in there. I wonder if we're going to have some with vacuum leaks from that. This return spring, this is the return spring on Fords. And it's not super strong. Okay, that's better. Nice. Nice. Okay. Big moment. We're going to see if this starter works. Okay. That was kind of... Not what we'd hoped for. Not what we'd hoped for. Let me try this. Putting this here. Oh. Yeah. Woohoo. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that sounded great. <laughs> start it from the inside with the key? Nope. I'm going to start it from out here, but let's get some chainsaw gas. So I'm going to use the fuel system that was here, which is basically the tomato juice bottle, but I'm going to prime the fuel pump with gas first. So that it lubes it up a little bit, and it will make it easier to, to pull from this bottle. Big moment. Is the key on, lug nut? Oh, uh, I'm about to turn it. You want me okay. to turn it on? Yeah, I can do it. Alrighty. Okay, key's on. Woohoo! <laughs> Gene saw gas is in. Put a little in the bowl. Let's give it a whirl. That was too easy. Unbelievable. Woo! Unbelievable. All right, let me fill up this bowl. <laughs> wow. It was a very loud noise. I don't know what that was. I hope it wasn't like a rod or something. Um, so next time I start at Lug Nut, if you would look at the oil pressure gauge, that would be great. I think it's just knocking it off. Okay, you ready? Yep. You got your helper Try in place? Try number two. Okay. Where's my squirt can? I may not need this, but good to have it. Okay, we got gas in the bowl now. Things going on. I think that the timing is so so far off. <laughs> That's a lot of pump. A lot of pump belts. Yeah, I can see that. 
now. So I'm gonna have to work on that a bit. It won't move. Oh really? Yeah, this thing is just way out of time. Okay, before we run it any longer, we'll put some coolant in it. See how much I spill. <laughs> Let me come over here. You've been doing very well with that stock lately. Uh, oh, it's it. not empty. I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Start to get warm, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's been a long time warm since we... Warm with excitement. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> it's been a long time since we had a day this nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So what are you doing? I'm just idling it up just a hair. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually idling with, but I'm just going to idle it up just a hair. But this distributor, I'm going to try to free up. It's seized because I really believe the timing is way off. So that's all you do? Just tell me if this vacuum advance mechanism moves at all. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving. Mm -hmm. So that's all you need to do to free it up? Yeah. Oh, go. that's interesting. Yep. Okay, that's okay. nice to know. Now when I start it, I can mess with the timing. If you're looking for parts for old Fords and some Chevys, come on down to Clint's Pleasant Cars and Parts. That's the phone number. And if you if you want to look at an other part way easier to see, it's right here on my hat. Please, please come down. We love meeting new people and love having people buy parts and having hanging out with them. I'm going to turn the key on. I don't know. I don't know yet. I wonder if uh, if he's got the firing order right. What are you doing? You're taping up. I'm taping up this wide open connection here mm -hmm. with full alternator current. Yeah, that's real dangerous. Yes, it is. Here we go. Okay, when I start this, tell me if this goes above 12.76. It probably should go to 13 something. Okay? 12, so 13 something? Yeah, 13 something, 14 something's good. Alright, let's try this again.
A lot better now. It's better. Oh, yeah. So I think the timing was quite a bit off. And that vacuum leak wasn't helping. Now that squeak, is that the belt you were talking yeah. about? Okay. So what I've done is put some tape around the cap and marked exactly where the cylinders are today. In case what I think is wrong isn't wrong, I can put it all back the way it was and be no worse off. All right, let's give this a try. We'll know right off if it's messed up. If it's correct, it should fire right up. Fire, fire. She's not on. Again. <laughs> We're not used to that. This sounds better though. one so far is turning out a little easier than usual. Yeah. Thank goodness that I decided that Richard needed a little bit more of a challenge for the next one, so I picked it out. Thanks. <laughs> and it looks horrible. So, we're going to give you a sneak peek of that and I'm sure you don't want to miss it, so make sure you click subscribe now so you can see how it turns out. Check this out. Okay. It's tight, but it's moving. Well, it was moving. It may have encountered a valve it doesn't like. It's completely bent. Oh. <laughs> How did this hood even go up and down? I think you could hammer it shut back, couldn't you? I don't want to mess with it. Let's just get the hood closed. How's it going with the tires? Got this one up. Yeah? Amazingly, it's up its whole half. I don't hear any hissing. That's, well, it could be that's too loud. So, but how's this one look back This here? one wasn't flat, so I just put a little in. Got it hooked up to the echo flow. That's yeah. nice. Okay, two more to try. So, you said you put just a little bit of yeah, brake fluid Yeah, I put some brake fluid in. I cleaned out all the gunk. Mm -hmm. out of that rear cylinder oh, yeah, so it looks, looks good. good and I put some brake fluid in it I got an unbelievable amount of stuff out of there it was crazy well we saw what was in there earlier so yep. but it was still it was still damp so the master might be okay I gotta put some more gas in this so you're gonna push on the brake yeah all right let's see um there's a couple bubbles oh so, yeah, it, it I think, seems to have a little pedal. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what this means, but the fluid in the front is jumping to the back. Yep. Okay. What does that mean? You I got mean something? We have a little brakes in the rear. 
sometimes you just need a little. Yeah, I may have a little break in the wheel. Okay, Richard, is that the last tire? Yeah, that's the last one. Cross your fingers. You know, I would be Coming upset up. if that last tire foiled your plans. It's happened before, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. I was upset then, and so I'd definitely be upset again. So, Richard. Yeah. Are you preparing for your drive? Yeah, this is my seat cover. <laughs> uh, it's almost worse than having none. Yeah, that's worse than having none. I was going to say, check it for ticks, because I already yeah. pulled tick off of me. That's worse than having none. Uh, we just need to find I'll something else. I'll put the else. yoga mat down. Ah, good idea. It'd yeah. be nice and cushiony on your bottom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Much better. Mm hmm All right. I think we're ready. I wish this window went down. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I hope that wasn't the one wish you get in your lifetime. Hmm. You're already my one wish. Aww. Okay. Let's crank it up. Try the transmission. Are you just going to try the key instead without the button? I could, yeah. I could, yeah. So I look. I went backwards, I think. Oh, now he's trying to go forward? Oh, that's going to be his downfall right there. Tire spinning. So, yes, I'm sure you could tell that, but the tire that I could see back here, that might be your downfall. It tire was just... Spinning. Yeah, so there's no pause attraction on this? Nope, obviously no pause. No pause attraction. And, uh, you know, it's, it's coming out of a very big hill. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you might be able to find something to, around here to put underneath it. Yeah, I think I could jack to the axle. Yeah. Yeah, I could jack it up. But we gotta find a piece of wood or something to put under that wheel. Or a VCR. You find something there? Yeah. I think that might work well. It might. We're still going up quite an incline. Yeah. And, and it's you know, muddy. Well, I hope that we don't. If we fix this one and I go over there and the other one's doing that, we have two pieces of wood, so we could use. The other one on the other side, right? No, they're both under this wheel. Oh, they are. That's yep. okay. There was more. There was more. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Listen this little on. dog. <laughs> I think this dog is trying to get in the truck to go home with this. You're trying to get in the truck to go home with this, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, you're so sweet. I'm excited for you. Yeah, let's see if we can get this thing out of this hole. Yeah. Not sure this is going to work. That well, might work. All you have to do is um, have faith. There are very few guarantees in this line of work. Yeah. So Helm and Lugnut are attempting to take off on the first drive for this car in a long time so i hope they have a good time Other tire, I bet you. It's maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. No. The other tower is spinning. It's spinning. Now the other one is spinning on you. It doesn't have enough power. It doesn't have enough power. Okay. So 
I'm gonna let him explain why they didn't take off before. I thought it was the tire, but no. So he said last time that when they're doing this, they are flooring it. And there's just no power coming from it, so it's not the tires anymore. I didn't know you could do that on a piece of wood. Squeak like that? Burn rubber? The tire is spinning on that wood. I didn't even know it could do that. Yeah. It's like burning rubber yeah, on a piece of wood. I didn't even know that was possible. I'm going to put some more air in this one, but if that yeah, doesn't that's, do it, then Yeah, I'll that's just spinning it. on the wood. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Did you hear that squeak from it? Oh, yeah, look. It, you burned rubber on it. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, keep this. on doing that. That wood was sweet. Do you see that, that guys? <laughs> that's funny. It's like, a, you, it's like you did a burnout on the 2x4. Okay. It actually ran better that time. Okay, we're running out of time, so... He's going to give it one last try, and then we are going to go find some parts for the burnt Chevy and look around. The two, flat, the two low tires in front, they keep leaking air, and that's not helping. It's like a plow, and uh, it's just not running right. I still maintain that it's either out of time, jump time, or the firing order is wrong. But I've done everything I know how to do to get the firing order right. And it still appears to be missing on each side, each bank. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. Wish us luck. I heard it, um, what was that, misfire? Is that what it's called when it shoots out the carb and misfire? Yeah. I think I heard that. Did you? And you, I don't know if you heard it detonating or not. Yeah, this thing is, I think it's jump time. I don't know. It's out of time for sure. But it runs, the engine's quiet. So that's yeah, really good news. Uh -uh. It doesn't have enough power to get out of this hole. My theory is that this jump time and somebody swapped out all the electronic ignition and all that to try to solve that problem. That's why the distributor is brand new, um, but it didn't. It's running on about six, maybe, maybe five. Each side in the tailpipe is missing. So I've checked the firing order three times and it's okay. So I think it jumped time. Okay, so after Richard gets the last of the parts he needs for the the burnt Chevy, we're going to go look at some willies that were here that we didn't get to look at last time. So that's very exciting. Um, I'm not sure what I'm more excited about. The fact that I haven't fallen yet today, which is pretty darn exciting. Or the fact that we get to see some willies. It might be a tie. Uh, Clint's Classic Cars to get some more parts for our Chevys. We were here last year, but now that it's uh, spring, it early, late winter, early spring, you can see a lot more. So we're going to give you just a quick overview of what's here.
hopefully you can see, you know, I don't see anything different in this area from last time. Richard has made a friend. I don't know why I don't remember this last time. I don't remember the Texas license plate. And I just don't remember this car. But I remember that car. Hmm. Normally when things are covered up like that, it means it worked when they covered them up. Look at that. That's funny stuff. Yep, that's how it used to be back in the days. Oh, it opens. Wow. There's that spider. I wonder if it's that same spider from seven months ago. Whoa. It's from the old windows are broken. Hmm. I don't know why. I, it is for sale, though. I love um, Those are cars like these. I, to me, this is the original... Yeah, like SUV. Everything is original on this. Somebody was going to buy it from a different state and then said, oh yeah, I'm going to buy it. Never came, and then never came back down and it's still sitting here. Uh, we don't even like the guy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's still still the So we're home, we've wrapped up for the day, we had some success, but we worked on more than you saw, and the next one is not going to be quite as easy. No. So thank you all for watching, we really appreciate it, your support really helps the channel out. Yeah, without you watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing our channel, well, you wouldn't be much of a channel, and we know that, and we appreciate everything you do. If you haven't already, please. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll know when this next one comes out because I picked out a really good one for him. And also, if you haven't already, please join us on Facebook at With The Rust. So until next time, what do we always say, Richard? We'll be chatting with you in the comments. Have a great Have week. Have a great week.